functions review questions 16 through 19. If you look at this, this is very similar to problems that we've already done before. There was problems like this in the notes uh, on a worksheet and then the review for the next set of notes. So you should be quite familiar with this problem. Lainey is hiking down into a canyon. The table shows her elevation above the canyon floor at different hours during the course of the hike. For question 16, they want us to write a linear function that models the situation. Well, if it's a linear function, we know that the slope is the same throughout the problem, so I just picked the top two ordered pairs to find my slope. So I'm going to take 3037.5 and subtract 4050, and I get negative 1012.5. And then 2.5 minus 1 is 1.5. So to find our slope, we'll take one, negative 1,012.5 and divide it by 1.5. Divide that out, and you should get negative 675. And this would be feet per hour. Why is it negative? Because she's hiking down. She's descending into the canyon. So that is why it is negative. The initial value, remember your initial value is the value of y when x is 1 minus the slope. Well, right here is the value of y when x is 1. See this 1 over here? There's my value of y. So the value of y when x is 1 is 4050. And we're going to subtract our slope, but we need to be careful because it's going to be minus negative 675. If you simplify that, you get 4,725. And that would be feet. Now, when you're done doing that subtraction, which actually ends up being addition because it's minus a negative, just pause a moment to make sure that you did it correctly. Because guys, that is your initial value. That's your starting point. So 4,000. 725 should be the largest number in your y column. Is it? Is it greater than your, your value of y when x is 1? Yes. If it's not greater than that top number that's typed, you did something wrong. So be very careful there. Okay, so I'm ready to write my equation. Uh, remember, y equals mx plus b. Slope goes in front of x. y-intercept goes behind x. So my equation for this problem is y equals negative 600, sorry, negative 675x plus 4725. Question 17, what does the initial value of the function represent? The initial value, what does that 4725, that's the top elevation, that's the elevation at the top of the canyon. The elevation at the top of the canyon. What does the rate of change of the function represent? What does that negative 675 feet per hour represent? That's the number of feet Laney is descending per hour. It's the number of feet descended per hour. So the rate of change represents the number of feet descended per hour. Take a moment, pause the video, and get all that written down. Okay, question 19. Question 19 says, at what time will Lainey reach the bottom of the canyon? If she is at the bottom of the canyon, she's on the canyon floor, that means her elevation is zero. Her elevation is zero, and the y value is, would be zero. So what I did was I took the equation that we got in question 16, and I wrote it down here for question 19, and I plugged the zero in for y because her elevation, which is the y value, is zero. And now I'm solving this two-step equation. So I'm going to subtract 4,725 from both sides. So I'll have negative 4,725 equals negative 675 x. I want to isolate the variable, so I'm going to divide both sides by negative 675. So 
So you divide that out, you get 7 equals x. So at what time will Laney reach the bottom of the canyon? Laney will reach the bottom of the canyon in 7 hours. If you have any questions on problems 16 through 19, please just ask.